All right, welcome to Dean Bodie Show. Dan, da, 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 da. Dean Bodie Show. Hey, everybody, what's going on? Welcome to Dean Bodie Show. Remember the website, deanbodie.com. 800 878 9698, Bodie Hotline, Fun Line. Call it, say something nice to Bodie, sing your zippity doo dah song. Yes, you can text if you like. You don't have to call. We'd like you to call, but you don't have to. But, you know, um, let's get this show kicked off. Who's the good girl? Good girl Bodie, good, good girl, good girl Bodie. She's the best girl in the world. Oh, yeah. DeanBodie.com. 800 878 9698 Bodie Hotline Fun Line. Let's do something with it. Say your name, where you're from. We'll make it a feature on the show. Bodie's the greatest. Bodie's doing good. Every day a little bit better. Man, we went to the doggy dermatologist. What a visit we had at the doggy dermatologist. But first, Quest Protein Chocolate Chip Cookies. Nice going, baby. I can't stop eating them. What do you say? Quest Protein Chocolate Chip Cookies. I can't stop eating them. Okay, I've tried a lot of protein bars. I've tried a lot of protein shakes. I've tried a lot of keto cookies and keto cakes. I've tried a lot of, you know, I mean, let's get serious here. I've tried them all. Quest chocolate chip protein cookies. Can't stop eating them. Love them. Run, don't walk. Go grab one. It'll fill the void till you get to your next meal three hours later. If you're from Jersey, it's three hours. So, doggy dermatologist, man, we go because Bodie needs a follow-up visit because the mobile vets that came out, you know, they really did a nice detailed exam, looked in between your toes and all, saw a few little crusties, and if you smell the dog's paw or something that's going on with a little bit of fungus or uh, this type of yeasty thing, it's going to smell like corn chips, Hey, there's a little tip from Dean Bodie. It's going to smell like Fritos. It's going to smell like, uh, you know, before you dip it in the salsa, take a whiff. Then you got yeasty fungi. You got it? So what it's telling you is that something's going on there that's got to get handled. And, man, I send pictures to the dermatologist. This is how we communicate. I take photos. I email them to the dermatologist and wait for a response, just so I can stay on top of it. If you think I'm going to go on 45-minute drives every other day to visit you, when you can just look at the photos, I mean, communication, the way we got the, uh, you know, all the uh, devices we have now is pretty dialed in. And the photos are like top-notch, let's get real. I mean, it's like making things a lot easier and the communication a lot better with the dermatologist. But the point being is, I knew this weeks ago. I knew something was going on like that because you can tell. You can get a smell. You can see things. And I send pictures because I like to get on top of it. If they have to overnight something and get her on a regimen for our 30-day regimen, Man, everything with the dog is a 30-day regimen, the poor dog. But you got to do what you got to do so things don't get out of control. Hey, look, Bodie's walking around all over the, uh, let's call it the wilderness over here with all the apartment buildings and everything. Steps in this and walks in that. Not to mention oil spills with cars that you notice, whether it's in a parking space or whatever. Bodie can't avoid everything. So it gets on her paws. This is why I wipe her paws with the Huggies Sensitive Plant-Based Wipes. I have been doing that for the longest. So not just so she doesn't scratch and transfer it to her little body, but so it doesn't get all over the apartment. I don't need fungi in my pillow when I go to sleep at night. eh? So we go to the dermatologist. I end up going to the wrong location first. Nice going, Dean Bodie. Wrong location. But I got there 30 minutes early so they can tell the other office that I was on my way. Okay, so there's doctors. They got a couple satellite offices here and there. I don't know where the brain was. Too much on the brain. You know, ooey gooey, rich and chewy inside. Tender, cakey, soul, and flaky outside. Wrap the inside and the outside is a good darn tootin'. It's a big Big Newton. One more time. Yeah, Big Fig Newton. Here's the tricky part. Big 
Fig Newton, look out! So we're at the going to the dermatologist. We get to the one right on time. I don't know, maybe we were made two minutes late, but did it matter? No, because the lights in their office weren't working. <laughs> okay, one of the generators or one of the whatever you call it, right? I saw the truck, the transformer blew up. So the lights were out. So he's got to do an exam with the flashlight. I mean, come on. These guys do like three months out appointments. That's how busy they are. The guy, on, the doctor never comes to the phone. Always the girls fielding the questions and all of that stuff. Yeah, he probably tells them what to say and all. But come on. I mean, once in a while... You got to have a conversation and don't be so like, you know, hey, you know, whatever. So standoffish. And so, you know, we have to come all the way down there so you can do your little piece of tape on the belly, take off some cells, put it under the microscope and see that there's fungi and all that stuff. Just as I sent you pictures, which said the same thing weeks prior, we could have been on top of it sooner. Poor Bodie, I'm doing everything I possibly could do. And I said to them when I got there, Bodie's here, I'm the one that sends you the most pictures. Am I in first place? And they said, by far. Hey, look, I'm just trying to communicate. I'm not a crazy person, but I want to send them photos and updates on how she's doing to make sure that we're on the right track. I don't want to see Bodie suffer. Hey, we might be dealing with a little bit of arthritis with Bodie. It's possible. So I sent a message to my regular vet, and uh, he said I should go see the orthopedic. Okay, it happens to be in the same plaza as the dermatologist that he sent us to. All the specialists are in this, like, neighborhood of buildings. I mean, what an operation, man. This whole, like, complex of animal specialists is mind-blowing. So... What I'm trying to get to is that we might have to go get it checked out because they're going to do x-rays. They'll look and see what really is going on if it's soft tissue injury and see what's happening so we can get a diagnosis and we know what to do with Bodhi. Hey, Bodhi's got to be as, as comfortable as she can because they're not going to complain. They don't whine and cry. They don't whatever. Bodhi, you can't even elicit a response. The vet that came out here, the mobile vet, couldn't elicit a response because Bodhi is the toughest girl in the world. Bodhi is the greatest girl in the world. Who's the good girl? Good girl Bodhi. Good, good girl. Good girl Bodhi. She's the best girl in the world. Oh, yeah. DeanBodhi.com. 800-878-9698. Call it. Please call it or text it. We're waiting for you. Bodie's the greatest. DeanBodie.com is the website. The links are on there. I want to get you over to the podcast. Apple, Spotify, we're on all the platforms, wherever you get your podcasts. The other link will get you over to the YouTube channel, D-E-A-N-B-O-D-I Space Show, YouTube channel. Numbers are going up. Check out the cool thumbnails and the caricature that we have on there. And we do postings on Facebook. We're working on a nice Facebook page for Dean Bodie. We're getting our TikTok thing cranked up. We're doing this. We're doing that. It's a step-by-step process. So back to the dermatologist. There's a ball right across the street. He's got a need he just can't beat. Out on the floor, he shuffles his feet away. He'll get the girl cause he looks so fine. He's gonna win her every time he knows he will. He's dressed to kill, he's a night owl. So we're at the dermatologist. He comes in with the flashlight. And all of a sudden, he's got this really long beard, like ZZ Top beard, which he didn't have a year ago. I'm like, oh, and he's like five foot nothing, long beard, doggy dermatology. He decided to go into this field and he's got us on this serum from the skin allergy test that he did. And I looked at him and I said, when do we give up on the serum? How do we know? Because I said every lab value, every diagnostic test has a pre and a post, right? You got to know where you're at. And because they tell you, you got to do this two pumps under the tongue, you know, a sublingual 
a.m. and two pumps under the tongue sublingual p.m. for the rest of her life. I told an Uber driver this the other day. He actually almost got into an accident. He was laughing so hard. He's like, I'd have to... I'd I'd have to give that up, man. I don't know if I could. And we had a moment there when I said the rest of your life. Wow, what a business model. That being said, we're, he's doing the flashlight exam. He did the tape on the belly. He saw it under the microscope and it was some fungus thing going on. So we had to do a regimen for how long? 30 days. What did he say? 30 days. Okay, so we're doing everything we can to help Bodhi because she's the greatest girl in the whole world. So we started talking. First, he explained to me that he's in a competition with his brother who was in the army. Now he's retired, who has a long beard. And he started sending him pictures. You can't grow one like this. So they had a competition. Now they're both ZZ Top brothers with the beards. Okay, so. He told me about his brother who takes a straight iron and straighten his beards down. And I'm like, oh, that's how they do that. <laughs> Too funny, man. But he's, kind of, he's a cool doctor. But I don't want to do something that's going to fire things up more. As I said, what if the serum is cranking things up more in her system? What if the serum is jacking everything up? What if the serum is making everything inside go crazy? He goes, that's not how it works. We're there. This is what we have to try to get the threshold higher with the allergy so she can tolerate the season better. That's what the, the, uh, the, what do you call it? The, um, you know, the serum is supposed to do. So they sent me the last batch was a more concentrated version. The last batch they sent me is supposed to be cranked up a notch. And I said, but well, how do we know? Because you told me when I first got here, it's 12 months just to get into the system. An 80% success rate. Okay, what about the other 20%? And if Bodhi falls into that and we're not doing a post check, for example, if we do the allergy test again, I don't really want to put her through that again because they sedate her, the poor thing, okay? Um, and they have to shave her and it's a whole thing, man. And uh, <laughs> I'm telling you, it is a whole thing. And, you know, but the thing is, when you do a, a check a year later, now we're like a year and a half in, okay? And I know for the rest of your life, if it's working. And how do we know if it's working? Hey, doing a post check. Are the red spots or the areas that show up as a reaction, are they not as red? Are they not as bright? Uh, maybe some of them are very faint now in some of the categories that she was allergic to. Maybe one of the weeds or, I don't know, uh, the TT the -tea fly juice or, uh, um, you know, uh, maybe one of the, uh, well, you know, the, the down feathers was on there and the flea saliva and the pollen was on there and the dust mites and the this and the that. And the list was long like, okay. Do we have to keep Bodhi in a box and feed her through a straw inside the box and not let her go anywhere? What's going on? And no talk really of nutrition, no talk of, you know, what kind of food maybe or whatever. And Bodhi's been pretty much on the real food for the longest, like what I eat. I get some chicken, roasted chicken. I'll cut up some dark meat for Bodhi. She goes to town on it. I do some steak. I'll slice some thin slices and Bodhi's taking her vitamins. We got her on the omega. We got her on the, uh, the multi. We got her on this uh, probiotic and enzyme supplement to help with the body digestion and probiotics to help with the flora and boost her immune system. Hey, she drinks plenty of fresh, clean, purified water. You know, a couple treats here and there, maybe one too many. I get it. But is that really going to cause all kinds of whatever? So, you know, you do the best you can. And uh, so he said, and he started to nod like he agrees with what I'm saying. So maybe he, he says, I'm going to check the thing again and see if I have any wiggle room any wiggle room to make some adjustments. He goes about 10%. Sometimes we have to change the formula sometimes. I mean, all these percentages and all this stuff. Really? Are you really <laughs> keeping track like, like this? Or are you just throwing numbers at me? So I don't know. 
I'm just following some things to help Bodhi more, be, make her more comfortable so she can live the best life possible. And, you know, the Shiba Inu from the wintry mountains of Japan, 2,000 years of Shiba Inu, the DNA. I mean, we got to, you know, she landed in Texas like, whoa, what's with all the pollen? Okay, I'm used to eating, I don't know, sushi and teriyaki on, on a bed of rice over here, huh? So anyways, that's the dermatology appointment. No lights, flashlight exam, a little bit crazy. Next, we're going to have to go to the, the orthopedic. I want to make sure that we check her the right way. God forbid she's got a little shoulder tear or something like that. I don't know. She's putting weight on it and going weight bearing, but there's still... You know, I want to make sure. And we're going to go and see. And we'll tell you all about it when we do that. So, man, oh, man. We're doing our thing over here. And uh, a lot going on. Um, you know, we got a new sliding door over here that goes to the back patio now that we have. And Bodie's loving the backyard. Bodie's loving the rest area. And we're on a main road. A lot of energy and traffic going by. But that's okay. I grew up like that on Kendall Drive in Miami, right by Baptist Hospital. Tons of traffic. Ambulances. The ambulance red light used to come flying through my bedroom window, along with the cockroaches and the palmetto bugs crawling around in the wastebasket next to my bed. <laughs> okay, so bring it on. I'm used to it. But anyway, it's crazy. But as we're walk, every time I open up the sliding door, there's a, a screen door that you got to open up next. And she's not used to it still. So when I open up the, the sliding door, she bumps her nose onto the screen. And I have to, she's getting better. She's remembering that, oh yeah, the screen is there. And uh, I got to watch out. But her wet nose gets on the glass and gets all smeary on the glass. So I have to do a little Windex wipe on the schnozzarelli that got on the window and left the yucky yucky right there that, for me to clean up. So there's these every, you know, always these little things that I don't know how you are, but I notice all of these things. Oh gosh, there's a lint on the floor. Oh man, there's a speck over there. I don't know. I've always been like that. Call it what you want. Give it any label you want. I just see stuff that the normal individual doesn't see. I don't know. Kind of like an x-ray vision Superman kind of thing I got going on over here. Maybe. But man, all the stuff going on, the dermatologist, the this and that. And next we got all kinds of stuff looking to look forward to. And again, we're getting used to the new place and things are going okay. Dean Bodie show. We're having a good time over here. DeanBodie.com is the website. Good girl, Bodie. Good, good girl. Good girl, Bodie. She's the best girl in the world. Oh, yeah. DeanBodie.com. 800-878-9698. Bodie Hotline Fun Line. Call it if you got a minute. Fortune Cookie Fun Day. We brought it up last time, and I forgot to do it. This is what Fortune Cookie Fun Day is. And remember, there's going to be a joke of the day from A-L-E-X-A. That's coming too, used to be on the show. We got to get A-L-E-X-A back on. But I did ask her the joke of the day the other day. And she said, why did the ghost cross the road? And I said, I don't know. Why did the ghost cross the road? And she said, because it was a poultry geist. You get it? Yeah. Look out. So <laughs> I thought that was kind of cute, but she's got to be here front and center and part of the show soon. We got Millie in the basement and hasn't been, uh, you know, she's been taking a little hiatus. We're going to get Millie back in. We used to do on the show too. talk to Millie down in the basement there. And uh, she used to shout up and say a few things and we're going to get her back into the, into the fold again. But fortune cookie fun day. It's fun because it doesn't happen all the time, but when we order like P.F. Chang's and they give me a few fortune cookies, I like to open them, save the fortunes and use it on the show. And we just talk about it and see where it takes us. Nothing too fancy, but P.F. Chang's has got some great stuff. Let me tell you, ginger broccoli chicken, way to go. Let me tell you, short ribs on the rice. Oh, yeah. Uh, let me tell you, the northern style ribs, the bomb, the spicy tuna sushi. Oh, yeah. Come on, man. And a couple bites of the cheesecake. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
So fortune cookie funny, here we go. Let's see, we got three of them here, and let's see where we go with this, okay? Are you ready? Here we go. Number one, it says, a lavish trip is in your future. Okay, a lavish trip. Let me tell you something about lavish trips. When I first got out here, I traveled a lot with work, all over the place and abroad, London and Australia, and we went to New Zealand, and we went to Canada, all over the States, and man, it was pretty wild, um, and you know what I found out? That it's the same everywhere, okay? Busy airports to the nines, even busier there than here, same construction going on on the roads, same this, same that, they might drive on the opposite side of the road, and the toilet might flush in the opposite direction, and the receptacles that you plug stuff in has three prongs that go on a weird angle and not the way you normally see it. It's kind of crazy. That threw me off. I had to go get an adapter to so I could plug my computer in when I first got out there. I was like, whoa. And uh, all that stuff. When you first get out of the airport, you go to the taxi or whatever. You jump in the wrong side. And you're like, oh, wow. They're driving on the other side of the car. It's a little trippy, okay, when you first experience it. Same stuff going on. I don't have the travel bug. When I go on YouTube, I can travel wherever I want. It's unbelievable. You can go here. You can go there. And there's so much to see um, because people are going out to these spots now with the drones and doing like 12 hours of footage. And you, they take you all over the place, man. Slovenia and uh, Ireland and Scotland and um, Bora Bora and Dubai, and Russia, and here, and there, and Argentina, and you name it, Romania the other day, and it, it's very cool. Run, don't walk, and do that for yourself, and create an environment, you know, where you don't have to get on a plane. We're on a plane right here, baby. We're on a Dean Bodie plane. Let's see what the next fortune says. A joyous event is in your near future. A joyous event. I don't know. What could that be? A joyous event in the near future. I don't know. The next UFC fight on Saturday night, that's kind of a joyous event. We got the holidays coming up. Speaks for itself. I'm not really uh, into the holidays that much, really. Halloween's coming up. I'm not. We got the lady next door. has got the pumpkins already out and the, and the scarecrows sticking up out of the ground. Okay. The other apartments I lived in, the whole time I was there, nine years, not one trick-or-treater. Times have changed. When I was a kid, Halloween was the bomb. I mean, you still see the Halloween costume places getting set up, and, the, and they're still, it feels like they're into it still, but it's just a different vibe when it comes to the actual trick-or-treating, which is the best part. You know, if you got some parties to go to, whatever, fine. But the best part was going around the neighborhood. The pillow sack was my um, was my candy bag, okay? I mean, it was like loaded. We'd go around the, the outside first, drop off the candy. My mom would go through it all as they did back in the day, looking for, I don't know, razor blades and sharp objects and weird stuff. You know, this is what they did. And then we would go walk around the inside of the neighborhood. And uh, it was wild. Fill the bag up again. It lasted the whole year. We'd get to bring it to school the next day and share. I mean, it was game on when it came to Halloween. Man, oh man, do I miss it. So it's just not the same. So I don't really get into it anymore. But those that do, it's still a cool, uh, it's still a cool holiday. And so those are the joyous events that are coming up. Let's get serious. Okay, one more we got, and it says, a relaxing day is in your future. So we have a great trip. We have joyous events and a relaxing day. I'll take the relaxing day out of all of that if we can ever get there. So listen. DeanBody.com is the website. Thanks so much for all your support. We're having a great time over here. And look, remember, Laundry Limo, the description below, don't forget, you mentioned Dean Bodie in your DFW area, you get 10% off, the best laundry, 48-hour turnaround time. They do dry cleaning, best smelling laundry you're ever going to do or have. 
Try it out. Laundry limo, the place that does your sheets. Laundry limo, the prices can't be beat. Laundry limo, the Dallas, Texas street. Oh, yeah. If you want to support the show, you can do that too. You'll see the link in the description below. Don't forget to click the like, subscribe, ring that notification bell. You don't want to miss any of these shows. We're having a great time over here. Jump on the Dean Bodie train and let's do this. Let's do it. Look out. Oh, yeah. All right. 800-878-9698. Bodie hotline, fun line. Who's the good girl? Bodie's the best girl in the whole world. DeanBodie.com. Oh, yeah.